What's up? Welcome into your Breaking Booms. I'm your host, Joe, from the Buckeye Cast. It happened. We knew it was coming. Do you feel it in the air tonight or today or whenever you're watching this? Aaron Nolan commits to the Buckeyes, as expected. Continues this Buckeye spring, scarlet and gray everywhere. Huge recruiting week. James Peoples, the running back. Then Mylon Graham, the receiver. Now the quarterback, four-star, Aaron Nolan out of Georgia. 6'3", 195, nation's number seven quarterback, by the way. Has leaped up the rankings over the last six months. Uh, he had his final seven, we're all aware. Uh, a weird jumbled mix of, of seven schools that included AM and Miami, uh, also known as NIL Central. Uh, he's made six visits to campuses in the last month. So, really, an accelerated decision date. Um, made his decision last night. And uh, his, so, let's talk scouting report here. His comp is uh, Michael Penix Jr. Say what you will, uh, he led the nation in passing last year. So, uh, or close to it. Uh, scouting report goes like this. He's a lefty that can attack all three levels of the field. Quick, compact release that is believed to be one of the fastest in this quarterback 2024 cycle. Uh, very comfortable on the move. Has plenty of experience running RPOs out of a single single back spread attack offense. Okay, uh, Will beat defenders uh, to the sticks with his legs. Very creative when he gets out outside the pocket or the pocket starts to break down. Uh, he's but he's not a run first quarterback. He's not a he's not a dual threat or a run first. Okay, um, keeps his eyes downfield while while working through his progressions. Always seems to be uh, looking for the home run, uh, a deep ball most likely. Uh, accurate, does not make mistakes. Uh, he has the tools and mechanics to be a real difference maker on offense. Uh, he led his team to a perfect 15 and 0 record last year in Georgia and a 6A state title. That's top level, top shelf, Davey. Uh, as and he's a junior, by the way. So going into his senior year next year, uh, completed 73 percent of his passes, uh, over 4,000 yards, 55 touchdowns, and only four picks in 15 games. That's that's amazing. So who is uh, Air Nolan? His actual name is. Prentice Air Nolan the uh, third. His father actually uh, Air Nolan the second, obviously, uh, earned the Air nickname as a high school basketball player because he played like Michael Jordan, and he passed the name along to his his second son. Um, Air's uh, former offensive coordinator Andrico Hines said that uh, Air that Nolan was a river riverboat gambler as a passer early in his high school career uh, quote, he said uh, he wanted to throw everything deep. Uh, there were not a lot of progressions. I had to tell him that if you want to sustain your career and play on the next level and the next level, you have to learn to read defenses and go through progressions. And he has eaten it up. Uh, Heinz started coaching him in middle school uh, quote. He was hesitant a little bit. He was second guessing himself. I'm like, Eric, we got to make a decision at some point, brother. This isn't this isn't about if you're right or wrong. I just need you to th need to learn how you think. Um, Hines continued. He said, "Quote: He's a generational talent. There are some things I coached him to do, but on, on the field, he's like, damn, I didn't coach that. Uh, his calmness, his poise, his understanding of the situation. He's going to be a household name. Okay, yeah, quarterback at Ohio State and definitely will do that for you." Um, Hines also said that his maturity is just different. Air wants to be coached hard. That's the difference in him. He wants to know everything. And I th I'd say Ryan Day probably would love to coach you hard. Um, Air Nolan said, quote, I'm in love with the game of football. Nothing could take me away from the game. My mom and dad sacrificed when I was little to be raised in a good household. My dad is very passionate. My mom is passionate about her kids and work. And I think I get it from them. Um, the family is also starting a charity called uh, Broken Crayon Still Color, which will focus on the mental health of younger children. So uh, all around, I think this kid's a great kid, seems to have all the tools, even though he's a lefty. And I know I've talked negatively about lefties 
I'm proud he's a Buckeye. Let's see how he develops and give the kid a chance. That's is all you can do, right? Um, so breaking moves, breaking booms. Talk to you tomorrow. Go Bucks.